So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about zero, negative, and rational exponents. Zero exponents. x to the zero, that is equal to 1. For any numbers of x where x is not equal to zero, any number maliban sa zero. An example number 1, that is b to the zero. So b to the zero, based on the rule of the zero exponents, x to the 0, that is equal to 1. So it means b to the 0, that is equal to 1. How about number 2? d to the 0 times y. So d to the 0, that is equal to 1. And then copy y. 1 times y, that is equal to y. In number 3, the quantity 3ab raised to 0. So it means, as a whole, this value, that is equal to 1. In number 4, 7 to the 0 plus 2. So 7 to the 0 is 1. Copy plus 2. So 1 plus 2, that is equal to 3. How about number 5? 3 to the 0 plus 8 over 3. 3 to the 0, base of the rule of the 0 exponent, that is equal to 1. Copy 8 and copy the denominator 3. 1 plus 8, that is equal to 9, divided by 3. 9 divided by 3, the answer is equal to 3. In negative exponents, if the value of the exponent is negative in the numerator a to the negative n, that becomes 1 over a to the n. While if the value of the exponent is in the denominator 1 over a to the negative n, that becomes a to the n. For any real numbers, n a should not be equal to 0, and the value of n should be greater than 0. Let us apply the negative exponent in example number 1. 4 to the negative 2, so the negative exponent is in the numerator. So it means the rule a to the negative n is equal to 1 over a to the n. So it means we need to get the reciprocal that becomes equals 1 over 4 squared, and then negative exponent become positive exponent. Copy the numerator 1, and then 4 times 4, that is equal to 16. So the final answer is 1 over 16. In example number 2, 1 over 4 to the negative 2. So based on the rule, 1 over a to the negative n is equal a to the n. So it means in the denominator, we have negative exponent. To make it positive, proceed to the numerator. So that becomes 4 squared. And 4 squared, that is 4 times 4. That is equal to 16. How about number 3? 12 over 4. So 12x to the 6, y to the 7, all over 4x to the negative 2 times y. First, we need to copy 12 over 4. Afterwards, we may use the rule of the negative exponent to make this one positive. Or we may use the loss of exponent that is quotient rule. So it means we need to subtract. We have the, the um, same base. So copy x and then copy 6 minus negative 2. Copy the same base y and then 7 minus 1. So 12 divided by 4 that is equal to 3. And then copy the base x. 6 negative times negative, that is positive. So 6 plus 2, that is equal to x to the 8. 7 minus 1 is 6, so y to the 6th power. So the final answer is 3x to the 8, y to the 6th power. How about example number 4? 8 over 4 to the negative 2. The negative exponent is in the denominator. So it means 1 over a to the n, negative n, is equal to a to the n. So it means 4 to the negative 2, we need to write in the numerator. First, copy 8. Afterwards, 4 to the negative 2 in the denominator. To make it a positive exponent, let us write in the numerator. 4 squared. And then copy 8. 4 squared, that is 4 times 4, the answer is equal to 16. 
And if we multiply 8 times 16, the final answer is 128. How about number 5? 2 to the negative 3 times 3 to the negative 1. So both of the base 2 and 3 have the negative exponent. So the negative exponent is in the numerator. So let us write in the denominator. So that becomes 1 over 2 to the third power. Also this one, 3 to the negative 1, that is 1 over 3 to the 1 or 3. 1 copy and then 2 cube, that is 2 times 2 times 2. So that is equal to 8. So 1 over 8 and then copy 1 over 3. In multiplication, you need to multiply the numerator and then the denominator. 1 times 1 is 1. 8 times 3, that is equal to 20. So the final answer is 1 over 24. In rational exponent, the rules are the same as the laws of exponent. So we need to apply the laws of exponent if the given exponent is a fraction. So in example number 1, 5 raised to 1 half raised to the 6th power. So it means copy the base 5. And then 1 half times 6, that is equal to 6 over 2. Because 1 times 6 is 6. Well, the denominator of 6 is 1. So 2 times 1, that is equal to 2. Afterwards, let us copy the base 5. 6 divided by 2, that is equal to 3. And then 5 times 5 times 5, that is equal to 125. How about number 2? The quantity 3 raised to 2 over 3 raised to the third power. So it means copy the base 3. 2 third times 3, that is equal to 6 over 3. 6 over 3, that is equal to 2. So copy the base 3 and then 2. 3 squared, that is 3 times 3, the answer is equal to 9. How about number 3? The quantity 3 to the 1 half times x to the 5 over 2 raised to the second power. First, copy the base 3 and then 1 half times 2, that is 2 over 2. Copy the base x, that is 5 over 2, raised to the second power, so it means 5 over 2 times 2, that is 10 over 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, so that is 3 to the 1, or 3 only, and then 10 divided by 2 is 5, so x to the 5th power. So the final answer is 3x to the 5th power. In example number 4, the quantity 4 to the 6 x to the 8 raised to 1 half. First, we need to copy the base. 6 times 1 half, that is 6 over 2. Copy the base x. 8 times 1, that is equal to 8 over 2. So 6 divided by 2, that is equal to 3. So it means 4 cubed, that is 4 times 4 times 4, that is equal to 64. Copy the base x and then 8 divided by 2, that is equal to 4. So the final answer is 64x to the 4th power. How about example number 5? The quantity 4m to the 8th power, y to the 12th power, all over 90 to the 20th power, raised to 2 over 4. First, we need to copy the base 4m to the 8th power, y to the 12th power, all over 90 raised to the 20th power. And then get the lowest term of 2 over 4, that is equal to 1 half. Afterwards, let us apply the laws of exponent. First, we need to copy the base 4. And then 1 times 1 half, that is 1 half. So 4 to the 1 half. m, that is 8 times 1 half, that is 8 times 1, that is 8. So m to the 8 over 2. Well, y, 12 times 1 is 12 divided by 2. So y raised to 12 over 2. How about the denominator? 9 raised to 1 half. So 1 times 1 half is 1 half. So 9 raised to 1 half. p, 20 times 1, that is p, 20 over 2. So 4 to the 1 half, if we write this one to be able to simplify, let us proceed to radicals. That becomes square root of 4. So the numerator is 1, and then the index, that could be 2. 8 divided by 2, that is m to the 4th. 12 divided by 2 for the base of y, that is 6, so y to the 6th power. 
9 to the 1 half, that is the square root of 9, equivalent for 9 to the 1 half. And then P, that is 10. 20 divided by 2, that is equal to 10. Square root of 4, let us copy, that is equal to 2. M to the 4, Y to the 6th power, and then the square root of 9, that is equal to 3, and then copy P to the 10th power. So the final answer is 2M to the 4th power, Y to the 6th power, and all over 3P to the 10th power. Instruction Use the laws of exponent and simplify the following. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.